Welcome to Data Disaggregation in a Snap. In this screencast, we'll take a comma-separated values raw data file, and we will open it in Excel and use a pivot table to make sense of a large volume of data. So to begin with, I have my comma-separated values file here. I'll double-click it to open it in Excel. After the file opens in Excel, we'll check and we'll see that we have 332 columns and 4,677 rows of data. That's a lot of data to make sense of. So we're going to use the pivot table tool to get a better handle on what we're going to look at here. So to do that, we'll click on the insert menu at the top of the page, and then select pivot table. This puts a scrolling marquee around the entire data selection. We'll keep all of the defaults in this window and select OK. This opens up a new tab at the bottom of the screen. And you'll see here that we have all of these fields that show up as the pivot table fields. These are the same as the fields here in our main sheet that we begin with. And what we're going to do is choose fields and drag these fields into these areas below. And I'm going to begin because I may want to see my data by school, so I'm going to pull the school into the filters. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be calculating on the student's PERM ID. So in other words, I want to look at the count of students with scores. So I'm going to drag PERM ID into the values field. And I want to look at ELA scores, so I'm going to scroll further down my list. And I want to see this by grade level. So I'm going to grab ELA grade and drag it down to rows. And you see here I've got grades 3 through 8 now in my rows. I also have a blank. We'll talk more about that in a second. And then I want to look at the achievement level for these students on this test. So I'll grab the ELA level and drag it down to my columns field. And now you'll see across the columns I have 1, 2, and 3, which are for 1 means not met, 2 means met, and 3 means exemplary. And then this column shows me that I have 55 students who do not have an ELA score for this test. Now that could be for a variety of reasons. This is again one of the powers of the pivot table. That quickly I can take that over uh, almost 5,000 rows of data and instead of having to filter it I can find out right here that I've got 55 students I can look at more deeply to figure out why they don't have scores. If I wanted to bring up a detail for who these 55 students are, it's as simple as double clicking on the number 55 here now this will open yet another sheet on my uh, workbook here. And I also have this message, not all source records have been copied. An important thing to remember when you pull a detail in a pivot table is that uh, you see in the, in the main table of data I had over 300 rows. But when you pull a detail in the pivot table, we'll do a count here to show you, you only get 256 of those columns returned. So if you're going to be using data that uh, a lot of the important information is, at the, is in the last columns, you may want to clean that up so that if you do pull a detail, you'll be able to see what the results are. So then this is the detail of those 55 students. If I scroll down, you'll see I've got 55 records here, 56 including the header column. And I can go through and, and examine each of these records individually to determine why these students do not have scores. I'm not going to use this sheet now, so I'm going to delete it. And you can safely delete any of these detail sheets that you create because you're, you're not deleting data from the, from the source. You're just deleting a detail. So I'll delete that. Now I've found myself back here on my pivot table. So what I'm going to do, I don't want to include these students with no score in my calculation. So I'll filter those out by clicking on the column labels and removing the check from the blank click OK and you see those 55 students disappear. So now what I see, I see my students in grades 3 through 8, I see them by their achievement level here, and what I can do, I'm looking at counts of students right now. It shows right there count of per my D, count of my students. If I wanted to see this by a percentage, I could right click the count of per my D, come down to show values as, and then select percent of row total. Now very quickly I have a, a, a percentage representation. For example here I can look and see that I had 
37.65% of my 8th graders who scored exemplary on ELA. And if I wanted to see this by a particular school, I could click my filter at the top, select the school, OK, and now I'm seeing just grades 3 through 5 because this isn't for an elementary school. So that, in a nutshell, is how to quickly disaggregate data in a snap using an Excel pivot table.